So this is your inverter. So I'll just run you through how it all sort of works. So coming from that conduit down the trunking yep. and into the inverter is the DC. So the solar, yep. solar in, DC in, and this is inverting from DC to AC. Yep. So we come back, come back out in AC, back through that conduit, and then into the switchboard. If you look on the inverter itself, that figure there is your current power production. Yep. What you're producing in watts. So 4,000 watts at the moment. Yep. Um, four, yeah, four, four kilowatts. Yep. Yeah, yep. So there's a few different things you can look at. Yep. So if you go into home, um, that's the main screen. Yep. And if you just toggle down, um, you can go through a few different screens. There's a lot of information on there, a lot to do with the electrical side. Yeah. So, so that's, that's the AC voltage coming from the street, so 229 volts. Yep. So also, if you have a look, if you go, this is the home screen again, you can press back and go to log. This is going to show you your daily production. So you oh, can okay, see yeah. what you produce. So that's showing what we produce since the system's been turned on. Yeah. So 0 0.6 kilowatt hours at the moment. <clears throat> so that top one, that daily total, that refreshes every day. Oh, okay, so yeah. you get a new figure there every single day. Yeah. So if you came out at five o'clock at night time before the inverter turned off, you'd obviously see a final figure there, yep. and that's it for the day. And then the next morning, it'll be back at zero. Yep. And that's your daily total, and then you've got yearly. So obviously that one goes up day by day by day. Yep. And then you get yearly total, and then that refreshes every year. And the total down at the very bottom, that's your, since, since it was installed. Installed, yep. yeah. Yeah, the lifetime of the unit, essentially. Yep. So they're the main things you want to check, especially your daily, daily total in kilowatt hours. That's yep. how you know if your system's working correctly. Yep what it's producing each day. So okay. That's the most so important thing. If, if it was alarming, what yep. wouldn't it, like what would I see? So like if you, there was something wrong with it? Uh, you definitely see a red light okay, down in yep. here. See so that green light there? Yep. That means everything's on you producing power. Yep. So if there was a problem, um, there would be a red, a red light, light down in there in that middle one. Yep. The inverter does turn itself off at night and yep. just turn it, turns itself it's on right. again in, in the morning, morning. Yep. when there's enough sunlight. Yep. So that light will turn uh, orange at night time, so don't stress yep. about that, oh, that's okay, all cool. normal. Yep. And then it'll just turn green again in the morning when there's enough, enough sunlight. Sun. Yep. Yep. So if that, you do see a red or orange light there, obviously you're going to give install a call. Yep. We're going to come out straight away. Yep. But if you do speak to us on the phone, we'll probably just tell you to shut the system down. Yep. And maybe just give it a restart, because sometimes the reboot can help. Yep. If there was, a, depending on the fault, the yep. reboot could help with the, with the inverter. So just to shut it down and to restart it, you just follow the procedure here. So first step is turn off the main switch inverter supply or the inverter AC isolator. So that's in the switchboard. Yeah. So we come to the switchboard. So we come to here, this is the circuit breaker for the solar. Yep. So salt supply main switch. You flick that one down. That's the first step. Yep. So before touching anything on the inverter, first step is always the circuit breaker. Yeah. So AC before DC. So we flick that one down. Yep. And then the second step, so we've done the first one. Turn off the main switch inverter supply, and then turn off the PV rate DC isolator located at the inverter. So that's so that's that little knob under there. Yep. So that goes around like that. All the way around? All the way around. As far yep. as it goes. You'll yep. just go click and you'll hear yep. it just drop out. Yep. Yeah. So once you've done that and that, the inverter will just shut down. Yep. And then once the screen goes completely blank, that might take 30 seconds yep. or more just to happen. And then you can give it a restart, and if the fault's still there, obviously we're going to yep. send someone out. So, so when I restart it, just turn that back on yep. and turn that switch So it doesn't matter too much when you're turning back on. Yeah. It's more um, when you're turning off, make yep. sure you do that one first. first. Okay. Just so you don't break the DCR. Yeah. So yep. you want to turn this one first. Yeah. Right. Any drums? Give you your mate. Yeah, thanks very All much. Right. No, really helped. Very much appreciated. No drums.